More than 500 years ago, clans of dwarves and gnomes made an agreement known as the Fandelvers Pact, by which they would share a rich mine in a wondrous cavern known as the Wave Echo Cave. In addition to the cave's mineral wealth, the mine contained great magical essence, and so human and elven spellcasters allied themselves with the dwarves and gnomes to channel and bind that essence into a great forge. A forge of spells, where items of magic could be created. Times were good, and the nearby human city of Phandalin prospered as well. But after a hundred years of quiet, disaster struck when orcs, goblins, tieflings, and other races deemed too monstrous for civilized society were led by the evil drow and swept through the north to lay waste to all in their path. After several successful strikes against Neverwinter and Phandalin, the ones who were left reached Wave Echo Cave to seize its riches and most importantly, the Forge. Human and elven wizards fought alongside their dwarf and gnome allies to defend the Forge of Spells, and the ensuing spell battles destroyed much of the cavern and its surrounding area. Very few survived the cavens and tremors that shocked the Sword Coast, and with all that magic unleashed, the location of the Wave Echo Cave was lost. As the centuries passed, the human and elven families who survived the Battle of the Wave Echo Cave worked tirelessly to recreate the power of the Forge. And in the end, the ability to imbue magic into items was not lost. They rebuilt the city of Neverwinter, turning it into a capital of magic in the Sword Coast. In the end, peace arrived once more as the banishment of the Drow was successful. In more recent years, people have resettled the area of Phandalin. Less of a city now and more a rough and tumble frontier town, struggling to get by after continuous orc attacks. However, three dwarven brothers known as the Rockseekers believe they've found just what the mining town of Phandalin needs to become prosperous once more. They believe they've actually located the lost mine inside the Wave Echo Cave. <laughs>